Now, an icon of American television, theater, and movies, Cicely Tyson has died at the age of 96. I just try to live as good a life as I can. She's well known for her role as a former slave in the autobiography of Miss Jane Pittman, and more recently in 2011 in The Help. Her performances often spoke to America's difficult racial past. And in 2016, Barack Obama awarded her the Presidential Medal of Freedom. In her 70-year career, Tyson won several Emmys, a Tony Award, and was given an honorary Oscar. Let's bring in John Murray. He's an independent media and popular culture critic. He joins us via Skype from Washington, D.C. John, great to have you uh, on the program. Now, Cicely Tyson was widely regarded as a Hollywood icon, an extremely influential actress, and you've actually met her, haven't you? Tell us briefly what she was like. Well, you know, Cicely Tyson was a force of nature. She's what I call a performance activist, as she used the arts to expand the perception and the humanity of black people. Uh, she was a former model turned actress, uh, and her mom didn't want her to become an actress, but she became one anyway. And she took on complex, historic, and versatile characters, uh, critically acclaimed roles like Sounder, the autobiography of Miss Jane Pittman, Roots, and one of my favorites, The Women of Brewster Place. You know, Cicely had been acting since 1956, and she had a career resurgence in the mid-2000s with a series of roles that Tyler Perry put her in. Then in 2020, at the young age of 95, she starred in Tyler Perry's A Fall from Grace, Ava DuVernay's miniseries Cherish the Day, and she had a recurring role on another one of my favorite series, playing Viola Davis's mother and how okay. to get away with murder. I mean, she, her body of work won her three Emmys, a Tony Award, a Peabody, and she even received an Honorary Academy Award. And like you mentioned, President Barack Obama, gave, Barack Obama gave her the Presidential Medal of Freedom. And that's not too bad for okay. a woman who didn't start acting until she was 31. Yeah, and, and, and John, as you say, she had a prolific acting career. Many people, of course, will remember her for her award-winning role in the TV series, The Autobiography uh, of Miss Jane Pittman. Just briefly, John, what do you think was so special about her performances. You know what? In her own words, she said she was a studier, of, a studier of human nature and a dreamer of audacious dreams. That came across in her performance. She was a survivor. She broke down barriers for not just black people in Hollywood, but for black women, and particularly women with darker skin. There'd be no Whoopi Goldberg, Viola Davis, Octavia Spencer, or Lupita Nyong'o without Cicely Tyson. She uh, released a memoir this week and then went on and transitioned a few days later. That's a thespian, and she went out like any Hollywood star would, and scene, it's over. Yeah, and, and what's interesting, John, is that throughout her career, Tyson refused to play drug addicts, prostitutes, maids, any of the roles that she thought was demeaning to black women. Absolutely. She wanted to uplift the culture. She wanted to change this, the perceptions and not buy into the stereotypes that we know that Hollywood and the entertainment industry has historically had for black people. She was groundbreaking and pioneering, and she used her art to make change. And the fact that she was still working up until the very end, she just done an, a major interview for her memoir with Gail King that just aired two days before she passed. Living until you're 96 with a body of work and a legacy like Cicely Tyson's, that's what we call good living, and that's the legacy we should all aim to have. Yeah, and John, just a final thought to you. I mean, many critics say she always brought a sense of nobility uh, and grace to her roles, where she broke many barriers uh, for black actresses, which is a point you've just made, and yet she remained quite feisty right to the end, didn't she? So, so what sort of a legacy does she leave behind then? Listen, her legacy is everything, Darren, that I've, I've shared with you. But she was a woman of style, grace, and sophistication. I was once at an award show where the MC was trying to gather the room, and they kept saying, hey, guys, could you quiet down? Hey, guys, could you quiet down? When uh, Cicely got on stage, she turned to the MC and she said, you don't refer to women in a room as guys. You say ladies and gentlemen. I am a lady and refer to me as such. That was the class that Cicely Tyson demanded, and that's why people respected her in the way that they did. Great story, John. Thank you very much for that. And something I found out today, that she was actually married to the jazz great Miles Davis, too, wasn't she? There you go. You have it. <laughs> Absolutely. It's a, a reason for us to play his records this weekend. Absolutely, John. Thank you very much indeed. Now, the coronavirus pandemic has devastated the live music industry in most countries. In the UK, organisers are scrambling to work out what to do with events planned